Well, it's, uh, first of all, you're good to get your future sorted out towards the end of last week, getting your contract. Yeah, um, it was nice to get actually signed and sealed and everything sorted out. Um, it's been brewing for a couple of months, to be fair, so I was happy to get it done so I can just focus on the rest of the season. Is you, when you first came up here, I don't know what your expectations were, your, your, your aims, would you say it surpassed your kind of expectations of what it would be like here? Um, definitely, seeing as this is my third season now, and I've been for another two seasons, so I only joined on a six-month deal when I first came up here, so to have signed my fourth contract now is um, it's good, and I obviously feel very comfortable here. You say you've developed a lot during that time? Oh, for sure. Definitely. I think um, everyone can see that, especially the season, with the way that I performed. And um, that's just with my hard work, with working with the previous gaffer and this gaffer. Um, I feel like I've developed a lot. And um, I feel like this is the right place for me to develop even further. What is it about here that makes you feel so settled, that allows you to, to, to improve as much as you have? Um, I'll just say, obviously, of course, the fans and um, the managers believe in me. As soon as he came in, um, he's played me straight away, and I think I've been one of the most consistent players for him since he's joined. And um, I've played the majority of the games as well, so it's, um, he's got a big part to play in it as well. And um, of course, hard work and dedication. Yeah, as you mentioned, the fans here, they really seem to have taken you to their hearts. How much has that helped you in, your t in terms of performance and in terms of staying? A lot. Um, as you can see, especially on Saturday, when we're 1 0 down, they were pushing us on to get the equalising goal. And obviously from my point of view as well, with I could have done better for the goal. I could have caved in and went into my show and they kept kept on pushing me on to obviously keep on working hard during the game. And um, as soon as I joined um, a couple of seasons ago, they welcomed me straight away. So um, it's, it's a nice feeling. Nice. Looking at this Sunday's game, Bevis, you're going to have to play Rangers at Ibrox. Is the pressure off, Marvel? And that's when do you have pressure on yourself? Um, I feel like there's always there's some sort of pressure going into any game. Um, we know the pos our position in the table, and it's very tight. And of course, they're very tight with Celtic as well, so it's an important game for both parties. And we just need to make sure that we have a good performance and make sure we try to get something out of the game. Well, they were having one there for a wee while. Um, how much of a, of a boost would they be if you could take something last time you were there, you'd be one each? Mm, I would love to beat Rangers, to be honest with you. I'd love to. But um, of course, the last time we played them, we had a good performance through 1 1. And we could have actually nicked it, to be fair, with Tony Watts' opportunity. But um, it wasn't meant to be. But hopefully, same again this Sunday. You certainly got goals in. You put that against Aberdeen, so you could go there and see if you can have a goal. Yeah, definitely. Um, we just need to keep on trying to hit the back of the net. Um, with the stats, with the past few games, we've actually had probably more shots on goal than in, than the team that we've been playing. So um, we're creating chances. It's just a thing of putting them back in the net. Another big like Coyne. No, haven't won since the turn of the year. How important is it to get those three points? It's vitally important. Very, very important because um, that's ultimately determines where you finish in the table. So um, I'm sure with the way that we're playing, the results will come 100%. Is there a real determination to, to make sure that you get something to show for this season? Obviously, you've got a big chance. You know, the Scottish Cup quarterfinals, you're very much in the, the pack in the, in the middle of the table as well. Are you, are you really determined to start as a squad to, to make sure you have something to? For the Definitely. Um, we had a, obviously a good start to the season, good first half of the season, but this is the business end of the season and we're in a good position at the moment. We just need to make sure we just focus and just make sure we just put in good performances to get the three points and obviously get through to the next round of the Cup. How have you enjoyed putting it right back the last few weeks? Um, it's been good. Um, it's sometimes a bit different from obviously changing from centre back to right back. But I feel like I've shown that I can do both jobs very well. And um, I feel like in this day and age, you have to be able to play more than one position to have a chance of playing on a Saturday. So I feel like I've done that. I gave myself the best opportunity to play and be selected. So just have to keep on doing what I'm doing. You had a hand in both the goals in the cup tie as well, didn't you? Were you enjoying that kind of going forward and one more of us say going forward as well? Yeah, people always say they love when I start opening up the legs and bombing down the line. <laughs> Um, it's a bit of a sight to see, so um, I'm enjoying it. Of course, it's a big shift compared to centre back going up and down, but um, I've got in my locker to do so and play striker. Have you showed that against the Burn, <laughs> didn't you? All sorts of chaos in the last two Yeah, matches. especially against Charles Dunn. <laughs> <laughs> he struggled a little bit, but um, yeah, the gaffer just threw me up up top the last 10 minutes just to give them a different type of problem, and it actually worked. Good. I did, did you see it? The volley. Yeah. Oof. Nice. But, um, 
Yeah, I've just as long as I'm playing and selecting on the side, I'll try my best. You've been pushing for more than minutes up front then since that game. <laughs> I think that's only a one-time job, but of course, if we're struggling in the game, I'll be more than happy to go up top. No problem. Okay, that's a bit of a better scores against Rangers on Sunday. Oh, you know, never say never. Never say never. <laughs>